I'm here with Cougar head women's soccer coach Chris Brown. Cougars coming off a tough 0-2 week playing some quality opponents. Coach, if you could give us a little bit of an assessment of how you think you've, your team has done throughout the first week. Sure. Uh, definitely, you know, you hit it on the head with some tough results against some good quality opponents that come from conferences that typically do very well for themselves and put multiple teams into the NCAA tournament. So I think according to the schedule, it was, it was a good evaluation process for us to, to play those quality opponents and just kind of measure where we're at. You know, obviously the results hurt going down 0-2 as I think both were matches that we probably could have found a more positive result in. But I think as you try and change things and, and you maneuver the players and, and see what our group is about, um, some of those results are going to happen early on. Uh, first player we want to talk about, Maddie Kroll, your young goaltender. Uh, I have thought she's done a very good job coming out and being aggressive uh, in her first college matches for you guys. Sure. Obviously, you know, being a freshman and stepping on the stage, not only Maddie and some few others, freshmen getting some good minutes right now, it's, it's a different. It, the game is so much faster for them. The ability to read it and, and make decisions have to come at a higher quality and a faster rate. So I think, you know, being in, being in the goal has given her that opportunity to do that, and she's shown well there with room to grow and improve as we go through this campaign this year. Also want to talk about Elizabeth Sanders with her goal for you guys this year. She's been all over the field, as many of players have been moving around to different positions. Talk about her and talk about the adjustments some of your players have made moving around the field. Sure, yeah, Liz has been uh, a great asset so far this year and, and really taken into multiple uh, ideas and, and different scenarios uh, to try to find ways to, to get players on the field and see where they're going to impact the game. Ultimately, we want to find the best group of players that can come in and impact us and, and provide the uh, type of performance we want to earn positive results on a, on a daily basis, but also a, a weekly basis. Now talk about your process. We've talked about and you keep reiterating that you, it's a process of you changing things around here, being the first year head coach. Talk about your process. Sure. I think, you know, the girls first and foremost are buying into it. They, they're believing some of the things we're doing, whether it's changing the way we approach training, uh, meeting in the morning at 5.40 to make sure their minds are right and, and ready to go by 6 o'clock training, uh, talking a lot about the process it takes to be successful every day, not only on the field, but in classroom, uh, in life, whether they're working, they're hanging out with their friends, but just making sure that they're always successful and looking at taking it one day at a time and performing to the best of their ability. So I think those things have really helped us kind of change the mindset of our players and, and push to winning each day is kind of some of the slogans we've used of be good enough on the day, win the day, take it day by day, and just you know do the simple things to be successful. Cougars taking on Beloit tomorrow. They'll travel up to Wisconsin to take on Beloit. Um, talk about your team getting ready for tomorrow. And one of the things we talked about is you guys being more creative on the attack. Uh, talk about that and how you guys got ready for tomorrow's match. Sure. You know, it's been a, a good couple days of training after getting back on, on Friday uh, late night and turning around and, and preparing for Beloit, which will be a very good team. It'll be a tough competition for us. But I think, you know, in terms of the attack, it's just continuing to provide ideas and hopefully allow the players to use their creative side to to make plays happen. You know, we don't want to structure it so much that we're robotic, but we want to make them feel that they can have the confidence and luxury to, to be creative, make the ball move, and, and get in. Some of the things we're doing is finding ways to combine with players and, and get on the end line and serve balls in and, and do a lot of that stuff. So it's been a fun process with them. It's been fun to see their maturation throughout the week and preparation for it. And hopefully we come out and continue to add some pieces to the attack and be a little bit more successful and, and get a couple goals out of it. Awesome, Coach. I'd like to thank you for your time today, and good luck tomorrow against Beloit. Awesome. Thanks, guys.